Alrighty, so we're back out in the garage where I'm going to be finishing up the edges of, of my two portraits um, for Christy. I had to wait. It took me forever to get these paints, but I was looking for particular aerosol paints to do the edges with to help bring out the colors in the front. Uh, it took forever because in the middle of COVID, apparently everyone down to the manufacturers are out of their own... Um, their own aerosol paints. So we, I finally got them in. Last night I came in and did, did the edges. And there's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five colors uh, in the edging. And what I do sometimes is I use, sorry, I got a little bit of aerosol on the front, tiny bit, which I can clean off. But what I usually use are, um, uh, doilies. I have a thing for doilies. But instead here I took uh, took my stencil, some stencils that I had cut out, the positive part, but also used the negatives that I had uh, saved. Not the pieces that were actually used on the spray painting, but the pieces I cut out. So I've got these really unusual shapes. It, it does, it's not going to matter to the viewer what I did, but that's what I did anyway. So I got my particular colors in. I pulled out a bunch of stencils, including, what did I use? Here, I'll show you. Including little doodads like this. And then this, which I've had in a bin forever uh, and never used before, I don't think. But anyway, this is the negative of uh, one of several stencils that I have um, that I've kept in a bin. Till I needed it. So I pulled it out and used it. And so today, but today, what I'm going to do is add a glaze to the edging. And what I'm using is a mixture of mineral spirits and my favorite, Neo McGilp. Okay. I don't like to use a lot of Neo McGilp because then it becomes too glossy where the front of my paintings are never terribly glossy. I don't like that gloss. It's like covering up. It can help to enhance a painting. I totally agree it can help to enhance a painting. But my paintings are about the act of painting. And I want you to see and feel the paint as I feel it. So I don't make the, fronts, the front of them terribly glossy by putting on like a varnish. So this is what I do, is just transparent uh, earth red, transparent earth red by Gamblin, sorry, transparent earth red by Gamblin, a little bit of Neil McGilt by Gamblin, and then mineral spirits that I have in a little jar over here. Mix them together, put them on, and if it comes out a little thick, like there, you can see how thick and dark that is, that particular spot. <laughs> at a weird angle. Sorry, that particular spot, I just wipe it off. I tend to wipe, wipe it off anyway. I don't want excess. I just want to stain it. So it's clear that it's enhancing the painting, but it's not really part of the painting. It's framing the painting without being a frame. And that's what I do. And sometimes I leave it on the canvas, but that's okay. It comes, it'll come right off. Now this trans transparent earth red is a color I've used throughout these paintings anyway. And when I'm, the next step for me after this dries, which is going to take a few days, is to go back to the front and see if I can find any spots, any um, any boo boos or spots where paint has. You know, maybe I've hit it with my pinky, or it's not quite what I want it to be. And I can see right now, there are a couple of brush strokes. I can see it where it's really bothering me. So I'm going to take it back in the other room once this is all dried, and take a good look-see, and see what I can help improve, clean up, or enhance. And I am doing it in my before a shower, because this is very, very sticky. 
I love doing this. I love doing the edges this way because even though it's not, it's not the, the painting extended and it helps to frame the painting without framing the painting, it also helps me to see, to pull out pieces, uh, parts of the painting where, um, where there is a deficit or maybe I can enhance it and then help to improve the edging as well. That's kind of my thought process in all of this. But I'm excited to finally get this, get this completed, this two painting project completed. This particular uh, buyer has been waiting an extraordinarily long time for this. I'm not usually this slow. But life has happened. As you can see, I have them propped up on cardboard boxes. I bought canvases a while ago, and uh, they're still in the boxes. I haven't prepped them yet for painting, and I'm glad I haven't, because it kind of makes a perfect stand. Normally when I do the aerosols, I've got them kind of maneuvered between like chairs and my legs, and, and spray paint tends to get on the paintings. But this time I was able to, I'll just show you. Because it might save me some heartache if I stick to the plan, stick to what I was doing last night. I turned them upside down and spray painted this way. I got nothing on the paintings or almost nothing. I have no idea why this hadn't occurred to me before, but it didn't. the edges, the corners of my paintings, and I'm sorry to say this, are always a little chewed up and beaten. I'm very rough with my paintings, very rough with canvases, and I don't mean to be. I think I'm being gentle. And it turns out I'm very much like Shrek. Like, <laughs> there's no way I mean to be. I try to be deeply respectful of the of the painting, of the potential buyer, of the actual buyer. But I am me. And things go sideways. When I was a kid, I was so clumsy. I've always been awkward, very awkward and clumsy and big. And when I was a kid, I was staying with my older sister in Illinois with my younger sister. My younger sister and I, sorry, <coughs> were staying with an older sister in Illinois. And um, she didn't really like me that much. It's okay, she still doesn't, and I'm fine with that. Now, she and her husband both couldn't wait to tell me how fat and stupid I was every day. It was awesome, a full month of that. And once locked me out of the house for an entire day, I had no way to go to the bathroom. They hired a babysitter who said, you're not allowed to go indoors because you, you break things. <sighs> and what, what led up to that was, I was so clumsy. No! <laughs> well-meaning and clumsy at the same time. I was so clumsy, I was asked to get a jar of peanut butter out of the kitchen cabinet, and this was brand new. Peanut butter had just started coming in those plastic jars. So I got the jar of peanut butter and promptly dropped it. And I think a little while later, I was so freaked out, I went to get, uh, I, was, I asked if I could get some water, and I went to get water I was told to grab a Tupperware cup because <clears throat> I couldn't break it. Well, I broke the Tupperware cup. I believe it was the next day the babysitter came, had us outside, and told me I wasn't allowed to use the bathroom. I also slipped on a bike they had rented. I was riding down a street and um, 
put some mud in a puddle and slipped into the puddle and bent the pedal. So when I say I've been clumsy my whole life, I mean I've been clumsy my whole life and it's not, I'm not meaning to be disrespectful, I really am a clod. So as you can see, so you can look at it as part of my signature. Oh, the corners are chewed up. Of course, that's a Beck Lane. Um, <clears throat> so as you can see, this part of it is actually going really, really, really fast. The, the thing that will take the most amount of time is the drying. Sometimes this can take a week. I don't know why, but because um, the front of the painting will take far less time than that with all the layers even. But I, in this humidity, I've had uh, the glazing. The Neo McGill, <coughs> excuse me, Mineral Spirits and Transparent Earth Red take up to a week to dry. But like, look at how quick this is. Like I said, the colors complement the actual image, but without being part of the image. <clears throat> Excuse me, my allergies again. <coughs> Almost done. This is, it's so, so quick. And this is a process I actually developed myself about eight years ago. I've had people go, oh, finally, I have a solution. Here's a suggestion, find your own. Not meaning to be a snot, but I actually came up with this eight years ago on my own. So try something that's yours. This is kind of a signature of mine. That and this banged up corners are a signature of mine. People will recognize the rhythm, the rhythm of how I do the edges. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to clip some of the threads off, some of the canvas off. So here's Bobby, Christy we just did. Here's Bobby, and as you can see, the colors aren't exactly the same, but they're coming, they reflect the painting, they frame the painting without framing the painting. Uh, when I've had people, or I used to think, I have to frame my paintings. And so I tried putting frames on them, and that was 15 years ago or so. And then I stopped, because they were making my paintings feel claustrophobic and removing all the energy, all that energy that I'm so proud of was like gone. Well, that's nice. That's kind of nice. So Christy, that's what's gonna happen is, um, I did the edges, I'm gonna put them in my little storage room where they'll dry uh, without as much humidity as out here and no bugs and the cat not running around. It's a clean environment, it's a dry environment um, and the air is really good in there. So I'm gonna take these, put them in the in the storage room, let them dry for a couple of days, and I'm gonna pull them out and put them in the sunroom and take another last look at them. I have a feeling I'm gonna find little pinky doodads in here and little marks that I didn't see when I was painting here, because as you can see, it's so dark. So we're gonna take one last look at this before uh, we get ready to ship. And that's it. That's my process. All right. I'm gonna go, not try not to break anything, and uh, shower. I'm gonna use my own bathroom, because I can, because I'm a grown up and I can. Um, anyway, we'll see, see, you, see you soon. I think I'm gonna be doing a live, a live painting thing uh, with the other commission I have going on. Anyway, ugh, gonna go shower, ugh, blah, my head. Ciao.